Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Today, we're doing a night drive with the new beta 1.40. Now, I did fix some things with the skybox. I'll show you right now. This is what it looks like during the day. Um, and all I had to do is basically make some adjustments to the exposure settings on my NVIDIA overlay uh, to get the uh, sky back to normal. So here we are in Las Vegas. It is about 6 o'clock p.m. here at Walmart. We're taking clothes all the way over to Albuquerque, I believe. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. And here is the job right here. Close 29,293 pounds of them from Las Vegas to Albuquerque. We'll go ahead and take that one. All right, let's push the parking brake in, put it into gear and let's get going. What do you say? Let's warm our voice up, man. Uh, around the corner, it looks like. Let's get these flashers on here. Yeah, I think we're picking up right here on the right. I don't know. Which dock it is. It looks like it's going to be the five. From what I can tell. Is it five? Yep. That's what it is. Number five today. There we go. That's not too bad. Only a standard 53 foot trailer for us. Slide on in there. We do have advanced trailer coupling. I think we might have nailed that one actually. Really? Let's see here. Easy now. Uh, might be a little off here. Let's see if we can correct it the last second here. Uh, I think we need to go up to the right a little bit. We came really close to it. Really close to getting that on the first try. But you know what? That's okay. Not a big deal. Let's line up our tandems here. This should be golden right here. I don't want to slam it either. We want to go nice and easy on that kingpin. It's right there. You like it? I don't think we have to go a little bit more to the left. And it's like really, 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 really finicky. And it has that heat shield on there on the truck. So sometimes that's kind of a problem. Take it easy here. Nice and smooth. Come on, buddy. We're so close to it. Nope, you don't like it. Oh, we got it right there. Nice. All right, before we do that, we'll pull the trailer brake here and we'll put it into low, low. Do a tug test. Oh, yeah, it's in there. We'll do a pre-trip and all that stuff. Flashers off. Let's go ahead and attach the trailer. All right. If you have the console enabled, you can hit the zero key and use your numpad to move around. Uh, and that is how we are walking around the truck today. So let's go ahead and look at everything. Now that we have the new lighting engine, we can see how it all looks here uh, in the game. So the hoses are nice and, uh, and snug there against that. Let's come down under here and we'll check the kingpin. The kingpin looks... Like it's good there. Yes, it is. Awesome. The tires are in good shape. The trailer lights are working on the side here. Uh, they don't look like they have a whole lot of blinker action happening on them. I do have my uh, hazards on, but I don't think these have actual turn indicators on the side here. Uh, tread back there looks all good. Nice. Doors are closed in the back here. And uh, we have working lights. There they are. This is the default trailer from SCS. Just a texture on it. There it is right there. So those are working fine. Lights up there look good. It's a uh, roll up back on it. That's cool. Something different there. Wabash trailer. Lights look good on this side. As we come up this side here, everything looks good. And in order, of course, it's American Truck Simulator. You don't have to worry. Uh, but look at those reflections, man. With this new lighting engine. I mean, look at that. The Walmart on there. That looks so good compared to what it used to look like. You know, I mean, look at the sky. It's a beautiful day here in Las Vegas evening, actually. Um, walk over here a little bit more and we can see the truck. Looks very nice indeed. So I'm going to go ahead and say we're good to go. All right, ready to all go here. Let's go ahead and push our parking brake in, trailer brakes in. Everybody's good. Wait for the sound to go away. We're making a left out of here and then it looks like another left. So don't have to do a whole huge U-turn, which is really nice, actually. Uh, so we'll come out and around this way, give ourselves plenty of room with that trailer. And that is working out. It's going to be a longer drive today, but that's okay. We want to see what the night lighting uh, is all about here in American Truck Simulator Open Beta 1.40. Look at Las Vegas out there looking absolutely beautiful indeed. And we'll give ourselves plenty of room here. And then we'll make a left and another left. Good thing not a lot of traffic out here. 
It's going to be default traffic again, unfortunately. They still have not uh, come out with a traffic mod that we know and love for this version of America Truck Sim. But that's all right, too. We won't get stuck in all the, you know, traffic. It'll be a lot of just driving, which I'm down with if you are. All right. They're on both sides. We got an 18 speed in this thing. So we can uh, do some gear jamming, have some fun. What do you say? I'm all the way over here into the right lane. I actually got a uh, request to do a Walmart. So whoever requested that, there you go, man. We're gonna have the Walmart today. So all I had to do is turn down the exposure. Um, one thing I did want to try out was the uh, jump in the anti-aliasing. I'll uh, go ahead and do that here while we're waiting for this light. Because you can see a little bit of shimmering happening there. We'll talk about that as well. We can make a right turn on red. So we do have the anti-aliasing turned all the way up. And you can see the shimmering still there and everything. It doesn't seem to matter. Uh, it's just something to do with the beta, man. But I did uh, max out the anti-aliasing. I had somebody be like, hey, your anti-aliasing is turned off. I'm like, yeah, I know. But uh, that didn't change anything really uh, at all for me. Gonna go into four high actually here. Because why not? We'll just go through the gears. Five low. And I'm not double clutching. I am just shifting. Uh, I'm floating, actually, whenever I shift. I get asked that one all the time. Uh, and then the other one is I look freely around with track IR to infrared track, uh, head tracker, actually. So just got up uh, not too long ago. I had some coffee and stuff. So that's why I'm still feeling a little groggy, but... Hey, you know what? We're going to wake up on this one. We will. I'm super stoked. I have not seen the night lighting 100% yet in action. Uh, I have only seen it whenever I'm like sitting, you know, it's 35 through here. Let's slow down. We got a red light. Hey, I remember not to give it that much. There we go. Right there. That's how much I need to give it whenever I'm downshifting. Not a whole lot. Still screwed it up a little bit there, but that's okay. That's all right. It's going to happen no matter what. So we have our secondary lights on. We can turn our main headlights on. It's getting to the evening time. There they are right there. And you can see he doesn't paint on the ground. I love it. It is absolutely wonderful. And we'll get to see the sun set as well. Because currently right now, as it stands, it is 544 p.m. I said 6 p.m., but it was 5 p.m. That's what it was. Can't find it, grind it. Can't find it, grind it. There you go. You go through all these different transmissions all the time, man. You got to get used to every single one individually. That's all right. We're going to be doing that a lot today, I have a feeling. A lot of grinding. All right, we got a downshift here. Burn right up here. We'll get going. All right, so in dentist news, I know we love talking about the dentist, don't we, on this channel lately, but... I've been uh, giving everybody an update on everything that's going on. So I told everyone that uh, I don't have to get implants, which is wonderful news. Uh, instead, uh, they're going to uh, clear the cavities out, fill it, crown it, and then we go into the veneer fun. Um, I know I was over rubbing that. It's okay. It's going to be okay. It's just a simulated engine. We're not going to be hurting anything. Um, so I don't have to get implants and stuff like that. So tomorrow... Uh, afternoon, I go in for another appointment. That is going to be for the, uh, basically the final like decision on what we're going to be doing. So I have that appointment and then I'll have a better idea of when, uh, I'm going in to get my work done. So I'll keep you up to date on that. Uh, if you would like, and, uh, there you go. Uh, also tomorrow we have a junk removal service coming to clean up basically all the crap that was left at this house when we bought it. Uh, there's like a bunch of yard waste out in the backyard. There's uh, a derelict refrigerator that was left in the garage. All the boxes and stuff from the uh, the move. That's one thing that's always annoying, right? Is all the boxes you got to deal with. And look at these lights. They look really good on that truck in front of us, that trailer there. Although he's really blocking us here and we have to get over here to the right. Sorry, car. I know. Well, you shouldn't have gotten that intersection, dude. You shouldn't have at all. I saw a comment on the last video, and uh, I was talking about the yellow light. And like, you shut at the green light for seven seconds or whatever. It's like, I don't care about the green light. I was talking about the yellow light. 
that's been a problem with American trucks in forever is the uh, the yellow light is super short and I've always had a yellow light mod that makes them longer see how long how short those are you can't even get out into the intersection so that's what I was talking about okay to interstate 515 make it right here perfect all right buddy keep going I'm excited to see these lights man and I mean look at this with Jazzy Cat's mods like all the different uh car models look at that the lighting and the paint and everything it looks so good oh man I don't know how you can not see how much better this game is I've had a lot of comments where people are like it doesn't look like much was changed or this or this and it's like dude looks like a whole new game I don't know what y'all are smoking it looks good to me looks real good all right we're gonna follow these trucks on out but yeah basically I'm using the exact same overlay settings as I was before I just turned the exposure down that was it on the brightness and contrast settings so if you have similar ones just go to your exposure I think I put it back to zero or something but it's you know you you can do it to taste and that's that's what I'm running but everything else is default graphics man which is <laughs> crazy I don't use uh the color correction because it looks terrible uh and all that stuff so that's the reason why I have like a pale but I also added a, actually I added a tick more of uh vibrance because it had a little bit of a pale look to it and I was trying to make it a little bit more realistic all right this lane ends sorry no cars there that's all right let's get on the highway what do you say what do you say so I'm going to preface this video by talking about how um, not only are we going to look at the night lighting and all that stuff and talk about all sorts of different things because it's a long drive we have today to Albuquerque and we'll be driving through the night to do it. Uh, but I wanted to preface this and talk about that uh, this in no way anything we talk about is to do with religion, politics, anything of that nature. I just tell you guys my life experiences and things that have happened to me and how I get through this world uh, on my uh, on my course so and maybe it'll be enough you know that uh, you'll you, you can uh, chime in in the comments below and tell me if these things have happened to you before but we're gonna be talking about a uh, law of attraction we're gonna be talking about all sorts of different uh, out of this world stuff paranormal stuff to some but to me it's it's borderline I guess you could call it spiritual or whatever but I've been wanting to talk about it for a while and uh and let you guys know kind of my backstory on what happened whenever I got into YouTube and the reason why I didn't go down the career path of uh being a commercial pilot or even a truck driver because I <laughs> once upon a time got hired by Schneider and did not go uh at the last second all right let's get our Jake on here Make sure it's working. Yep. It's all good. We're getting up to speed now. It's seven high, and then we'll go into eight low, and then eight high. So I want to preface that. We don't talk about politics and religion and all that stuff here on the channel. Um, I just want to share my experiences in life with y'all. So that's what we're doing. Moving into Arizona. Look at that. The Grand Canyon State. So back in 2011... Uh, I was basically just, you know, working a dead end job, things I didn't enjoy. Uh, I worked at a place called Universal Printing in St. Louis as a, uh, as a person. And we talked about that in, in detail, uh, before. So during that time, uh, I was together with my girlfriend and then we had split like right before 2012. So that's right about the time right before the time I started doing YouTube actually let's go to eight high here there we go so I started doing YouTube and um no no expectations to monetize or do anything crazy like that I legitimately just wanted to have fun and, and make videos like you know I was doing video editing and I've talked about that stuff before in the past too we don't need to beat a dead horse uh with this story um so I was kind of like you know in a in a, in a bad space in my mind like you know I was going through a breakup and those are always horrible you always feel terrible um and uh and I just didn't know what I wanted to do with my life you know and no direction and then um a series of things happened to me 
And uh, the biggest thing was what people call ascension. is kind of like a wake-up state of where you start to uh, get more in tune with uh, different things in this world. And one thing that came to me was... Oh, we need to go over the left here. Put these guys over. Oh, man. Yeah, they're closing this road, aren't they? Big time. And that was, uh, for me, meditation. There we go. Slow way down. Yep. A little fender bender there. A little more than the fender bender. The State Trooper Tahoe looked amazing. Right down to seven low. Um, so I started getting into meditation, and uh, it's not like a huge like thing that a lot of people think it is. If you close your eyes and you just sit there for ten minutes and clear your head, you know that's meditating. There's no right or wrong way to meditate. You just you just do it. Uh, it's really, really good for you. If you if you get into a position in your life where you feel like you're overwhelmed, stress is taken over, you know, take that 10 minutes, and just close your eyes and uh, and meditate. And it took me a long time. If, if you're getting into meditation, one thing I can tell you is use binaural beats, man. That was a huge, huge, huge saver for me. So I would always like listen to music or something. Uh, sometimes it would just be completely, you know, nothing. Well, the car headlights came on behind us. We're getting excited for the night raid. Yeah. Night race. <laughs> night ride. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, look at that. Look at how realistic those headlights look like on that car coming down the camera lane. So that was uh, a thing that um, started happening to me. I started getting into meditation and started feeling good about myself and, and applying, you know, those practices towards my life. Um, so we get the bypass. Yes. Let's give him a honk for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way station for us today. And it's 65 through anyway. Um, so going back to it, uh, fell into kind of a rabbit hole. So what thing that happened to me was, I don't know if you've ever had um, sleep paralysis. Now, sleep paralysis is a time of, it's where you're basically um, awakening during a time of your body being asleep. So it's your body paralyzes yourself so you don't act out in your dreams and stuff uh, and act like a crazy fool. Um, instead, it will legitimately paralyze itself. And if you wake up before it unparalyzes itself, it can be very terrifying. Some people, you know, have uh, equated it to the old hag syndrome and things like that. Man, look at these lights. Oh, this looks so good. It looks amazing. And you can see how slowly our headlights are fading into the world as we get on Highway 40 here in a second. There we go. So way on down, way on down. So I would get episodes of sleep paralysis and I really didn't know what to do um, because sometimes you get into sleep paralysis and you would have these really heavy vibrations in your body and it would be very terrifying. Some people have even uh, equated that to... Uh, I was talking about the old hag syndrome, but they have also equated that to being abducted by aliens in some ways. So not all uh, abduction stories are, uh, you know, are aliens. Sometimes it's, it's something to do with that. So I started getting into this deep meditation and, and all this. And then something happened, which is called astral projection. And it's the ability to get out of your body I know this stuff may sound crazy to you. I'm just I'm telling you things that happened to me in my life. Um, and I've never done a hallucinogenic drug or anything like that. That's not what it is. Trust me. Uh, I don't even smoke weed. And I've talked about that. How I just my body does not not like THC at all. I learned that when I was younger. <laughs> all right. Now it likes CBD. I like CBD oil, but no THC for me. If there's trace amounts in it, then that's fine. Man, look at these headlights. It looks so good. <laughs> Outside of Kingman here. Um, so I had my first uh, astral projection, and it it was kind of scary. Like it, it was it was releasing, uh, and it felt like I died almost like that. And uh, it was it was a very like separating feeling of this of this world, and made me realize you know there's a lot more out there than meets the eye when it comes to all that stuff and uh it got me very very interested in 
and learning more about that and learning more about the universe and learning more about my you know, how I interact with it and uh, and then I came across what they call the secret so if you don't know what the secret is the secret is basically um, law of attraction now the problem is a lot of people may have heard of law of attraction but they don't really understand it uh, and they don't understand how that whole, you know, string theory and all that stuff works. Um, you choose to believe it or you don't. You just go, well, I don't believe it. It's like, that's fine. Don't believe it. It's okay. But I will tell you um, that law of attraction came into my life at a certain time I started YouTube. Uh, and everything else in my life just kind of started changing once I realized that I was in control of my life. So basically with law of attraction, you'll have people say, that's bull crap and it does it's it's okay the car what are you doing up here you're going real slow man real slow we'll get around you in a second here these cars are actually we'll just kind of ride behind that's fine um and the problem with that is if you don't really truly understand it or or, or acknowledge it being real um you're going to continue to attract the things that you do to your life so Say somebody wakes up every day and thinks the world's against them. Well, guess what? The world's against you. You know, you 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 project that constantly out there that you're, uh, you know, having a bad day or, or you know, again, here we go again. You know, those kind of things. Oh, of course, this is going to happen to me because you're putting that out there. If you spend as much time uh, with thoughts of of negative, of like, oh, this is against me or this or this, if you used as much of that and put that in a positive manner. I will have a good day or I, I choose to have a good day. I choose this. I, I do this. You would be really surprised how things turn around pretty rapidly, actually. Um, so I'm not the only one who talks about law of attraction. There's there's a ton of people out there that have, but I know that it 100% had to do with uh, how everything worked out on YouTube. So I got into law of attraction and I knew I wanted to, you know, just have, I wanted a life where I had a, uh, you know, a, a loving relationship with somebody, which I currently do today. I'm in a, a very happy uh, marriage. And to have, uh, you know, those things, this guy's going so slow. Uh, to have all these things come together is what I always wanted. I always wanted that. And another thing I always put out was that one, I, I was, it's not like a one day thing. It's just like, I will, you know, you will. That's how it works. Uh, and that was, I just don't want to worry about money. Not that I have to make buku dollars or be a billionaire, zillionaire, millionaire, whatever. I just didn't want to worry about money anymore. I didn't want to be that guy that was like, hey, my friends invited me out to their house and I can't afford to bring anything over. Or they're like, hey, we're going out to dinner. And you're like, well, I can't go to dinner. Sorry. Uh, I can't afford it, basically. <laughs> and when me and uh, or Nicole, I think it's Nicole and me. That's the correct way to say it. Uh, but when we first got together, I was working a uh, crappy job at the airport, making $9,600 a year. Uh, and she was, uh, you know, working uh, in salons. So she was, she, she was the breadwinner. She was just kicking ass, man. <laughs> she worked uh, a couple jobs back in 2015. She had two jobs. And whenever I was uh, still pursuing the YouTube dream, uh, and basically whenever I started making as much from YouTube and rad ev uh, rad ad revenue, uh, as I was from the airport. That's when I quit and just gave it a shot, you know? Uh, and I've talked about that in the past, but what I want to let you know is that we you know we're like, Hey, we would have to, we have to go through our coffee can to get changed, to get a soda up at the, uh, at the gas station. And, uh, there's a lot of times where we would be like, Hey, we got paid today. Let's go and get some Buffalo wild wings or let's go out to dinner or something and treat ourselves. And I'm loving the lighting. I'm still seeing the shimmering though, especially on the side of the trailers and stuff. But I'm loving the lighting here. This looks so good. And it's not pitch black anymore. It's like a gray. Um, so that was a thing. And uh and that's something I didn't want in my life. I just I didn't want a lot of money or anything. I just wanted to not worry about it. And so I continue to put that out there. And then I do what's called manifestations. And if you learn more about the law of attraction, you'll understand what manifestations are. And when you're doing your meditation, you're manifesting the world around you and the things that you want to attract to you. Um, so 
you know, I, I started applying these things to my life and it completely changed it. A hundred percent changed it. Um, things just turned around really fast. Uh, and, uh, and I, and I felt happy. I felt great about myself, you know? And you got to understand, it's like if you're putting so much time and energy into negative, into leaving a bad comment on a YouTube video or taking your anger out on another person, you spend so much time doing that, you, you reap what you sow, basically. It comes back full force. You can call it karma. You can call it the yin to the yang, whatever you want to you want to call it. But that stuff comes back to you. And um, if you live your life, you know, without envy that hate, greed, you know, you're, you'll find that uh, you're going to attract the good things in life to you. So if you're feeling down about yourself, trust me, every single person's trying to figure this out. That's why I'm like, don't take my advice. I'm just telling you what happened in my life. I'm not telling you, hey, this is the only way to be, this is the only way to live. I think you take the red pill or you take the blue pill. And some people really want to take the other pill and, and work in a factory until they die or they want to work at the same job for 40 years. I'm not that person. I never have been. I've never, uh, even during the time that people are like, you, you can't get a job in this day and age. I always got a job. Always capable to go out there and get a job. If you really, really try, you can do it. And I've worked every stupid job you can think of. Um, but, you know, if, if things feel like they're suffocating you and you know, you can't afford this or you can't do this. You know, it's it's hard to do that, to take a look in the mirror and look at your ego and see what's holding you back and let it go. Uh, you know, and, and meditate on it. Think about it in deep thought. And anytime you get in a skirmish with somebody or you feel angry towards somebody, you know, that's when you can just take a time out. But what I do is I meditate. And then honestly, like t I'll take a like, 20 minute. Oh, well, I'm, I do pretty deep meditations now, man. That was a big bump. <laughs> uh, I do deep meditations now. So about a half hour or so. And when I come out of it, man, it just, it, there's nothing on this. Nothing bothers me anymore. The anger has gone. You have a more clear mind about, uh, what you just endured. And, uh, it's, it's so rewarding. Okay. Here we go. We're going underneath this. looks like the lights from cars above are not bleeding through the overpass. If there were cars on it, looks like there might have been, which is really nice. This looks so good. But that's something that uh, that changed my life. And, and I think a lot of people think that, you know, there's this big, huge, like, secret to uh, getting success on YouTube or any social media platforms, Twitch, you name it. There's really not. I think that... Um, you know, some people get, there's a little bit of luck with it, but hey, what is luck? <laughs> I think you can create it. I really do. So, you know, start applying those things to your life and, and, and see what happens. Not like it's, not like anything bad's going to happen, you know? If you just think good thoughts, think good things about yourself. And, you know, there's things called vision boards. And a lot of, uh, a lot of millionaires and people that are entrepreneurs and, all that have talked about those things in seminars and all that about vision boards and about all this stuff because they actually do apply the law of attraction and there's so many out there that do that would blow you away um and one of those things is that you know having a vision board having something constantly remind yourself of a positive like enforcement of wanting to do that uh and one thing was whenever uh, back in around 2014 or so, uh, whenever we started uh, dating, uh, we um, Nicole, we had I had on my screensaver Bora Bora. It was like it, it just it was such an unachievable dream. In 20 you know 15 2014, I had not a penny to my name, uh, and a broken well not broken it was a great car the uh, Saturn wagon. Leave a comment if you remember the wagon. SW4 um, and during that time it got to uh, it got to a point where hold on a second watch out oh I had it on my screensaver and I saw it all the time and guess what and uh, when we got married that was our honeymoon we went to Bora Bora we did it 
I got to go there, to that exact island that I didn't think I'd ever see in my entire lifetime. I got to see it. And uh, you know, you call it luck, call it whatever you want. It's it's just it's just how it works. Um, in anything I want to ever attract in my life, I do the same thing. You know, when we went through the house uh, buying process, we actually had a real estate agent uh, that was very very in tune with the secret. Uh, with uh, the law of attraction. And it was really refreshing because uh, he was an incredible, incredible asset to us. Um, not just through that, like we still, you know, can talk to him after we were done. And I think there's a, a friendship there. Uh, but he knew that process. And, uh, and when we found the houses we wanted, you have to just basically, every single time I would get a home or we would rent a house, you know, and you go through the process of filling out the application and sending it in and all this stuff. Um, you know, you if you have in the back of your mind, oh, we're not going to get it. We're not going to get it. No, they're they're going to deny us. They're going to deny this, 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 this. Dude, that's what's going to happen. They're, it's going to happen very quickly. You will get denied. You, you're, you're attracting that. It's going to happen. Um, so what I do is kind of manifest it. Um, and a, a good way to do that is to envision yourself in, you know, at that property. You know, having friends over, barbecue in the backyard, and this and this, and you know, all these things before uh, the pandemic hit. Uh, and you legitimately uh, dumb it down here into a low for the hill. And what you do is you start to. Uh, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Oh, I bet a lot of people think I lost my mind already sharing this information with you. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, coming back to it, you know, think of those things. And whenever with this house, it's like I knew I could already see my furniture there and we get to see where we, what we wanted to do with the house. And it felt so real. But if you really think about time, time doesn't exist at all. It's just, you know, it's, and you know what they all say. Time's relative, this, this, this. But what if, what if you already have done something since time doesn't exist and you're already tapping into that and you're you're kind of just going along that timeline basically there's a lot of there's a lot of better people out there i'm sure that can explain it a little bit better but it's what changed my life a thousand percent i truly i don't think that uh you know when it comes to youtube it's not something that you can just slough off it's not a it's not a grind and all this stuff that a lot of people think that it's a grind. You got to yeah, put the grind down. I mean, you can do it that way. Uh, but if you have fun along the way, man, and, and enjoy it, I get to play video games, you know, uh, for a living and, and, and entertain for a living. I thought I was going to fly airplanes, you know, uh, working in the at the ramp and working in different factories. My uh, my right knee is was terrible, like one time it swelled up to like a grapefruit and it was terrible. And I thought it tore my ACL or something. Um, and it healed up and everything, but it still hasn't been the, the same. I, I really did damage a lot of it working at the airport. Um, so I'm very, very fortunate that I get to sit here, drive a fake truck, you know, tell you about these things. Uh, now I have to worry about putting so much stress in my life on my, uh, on my legs. And that's why I have no problem shouting out people like riding with Dave and, you know, life behind the wheel. And there's like the AK trucker and all, all those other guys out there that do this for real and they vlog it. But those of you that don't vlog it, that aren't on YouTube, uh, that just that legitimately drive a truck for a living, you're on the road all the time and you live in the back of that, that spot right back there. <laughs> um, you know, I, I really truly appreciate it because if you did if we didn't have that we wouldn't have all the things that we have like we, we all know that whole saying of you know if you own it a truck got it there and that's true if an airplane didn't get it there or a boat didn't get there it's definitely a truck and there's always a truck involved so the drivers out there um when i drive on the highway i always give them extra room give them like you know an extra like three to four car lengths before you cut over in front of them and it's got to be so stressful to be that, you know, away from friends and family. And, and on top of that, you're living out of your truck 
and you're driving on the road like you've you've done road trips before and you know how stressful sometimes the driving situations can be these guys do it every day in and out and then you have guys that get like the million miles uh like you know accident free and all that stuff with different companies and i think that's so cool i celebrate people like that i'm just looking over there in the right mirror and if anybody's coming on that on ramp but how about this night lighting, man? It looks good. Let's go to the outside view so we can uh, check it out. I got my screenshot. We can see the uh, lighting a little bit better out here. Look at this. Not bad looking at all, right? Don't mind my terrible driving because we're in the outside view, but I mean, that looks really nice, man. Look at that. The sodium lights there. You discovered a new viewpoint. They did add a bunch of new viewpoints too. But yeah, I'm liking the lighting, man, a lot. All right, let's see if we get to bypass this way station. You can see there when that truck hits his brake lights, man. It's uh, very prominent. Now, some of the tail lights look washed out and stuff, but look at how realistic it is whenever they uh, they pass by and then how smaller like that light source gets in the distance. Uh, we got to pull in for this one. Couldn't get lucky on this one, folks. We tried. We did try. But, you know, it doesn't matter your uh, your situation, your job, whatever. If you just, uh, you know, th stay positive and think good thoughts, good things will happen to you. And like I said, you don't have to take my, you don't have to take it as advice or anything like that. I'm just sharing with you uh, how all that stuff changed my life. And if you, if you have never heard of these different terms like uh, uh, sleep paralysis or uh, astral projection or anything like that, or it's called like an OBE, out of body experience, those things, uh, feel free to just look them up and, and, and see it. Don't take my word for it. Okay, slow way down here. Okay, never went into gear on that one for whatever reason. I don't think I did it right. Imagine that. All right, up onto the scale we go. Come on, let's make them happy. There we go. Let's see what we got. 62,662. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a safe journey. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't have used my uh, parking brake. Oh, well. I'm sure somebody will get on to us about that. All right. But, yeah, hopefully they fix the shimmering and some little exposure issues and things like that. But other than that, I'm, I'm very happy with this sim. It's come so far. And then once we get our, uh, you know, traffic mod working again, I'm going to be really happy. That's all I want. Everything else is just kosher. Um, I did take out the different trailer mods because I wanted to make sure those were, uh, you know, good. And uh, a lot of the trailer mods aren't working since they have custom lighting on them. So keep that in mind. Gallop. Shiprock. Next right. Shiprock. Shiprock. Let me know if you know what uh, that's from. It's not Shiprock. It's a different word, but there you go. But I figured I would uh, just kind of uh, explain that a little bit. Something different. You never know what you're going to hear whenever we go truck in here in the American Truck Simulator. My brain. Story time with Jeff can get kind of weird sometimes. I know. But I'm an open-minded person, and I think outside of the box, and... It's okay. Go against the grain. And somebody once told me that I'm they, they put me in a box of like, oh you're you're politically this or whatever, and I'm like, Nope. Don't know me at all, man. <laughs> I'm I'm not political, that's the thing. At all. It's it's not for me. Everybody gets so heated and they all argue with each other and no. Nah, no. Nope. Never been a thing for me. I remember in uh in high school, I had to take Missouri government, and I was so bored of what they were talking about. When they would talk about the Supreme Court, I just thought of, like, a Supreme Taco from Taco Bell or something. Yeah, I was like, who wants to listen to how the leg the, uh, the legislative system works in your state? Like, some people really enjoy it. They like political science. They like government. Never been a fan, man. Never been a fan. All right. 75. That was once 
Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't, know where, I don't know where I'm at now. I haven't seen this in a while. My mirror distance uh, quality, you can see trucks like just disappearing in the distance there. Um, I have that set down because that was causing a lot of hiccups before. Maybe not anymore. I don't know. We can try something different. Oh, man. This looks so damn good. Like, I'm not even kidding you. It looks so good. All right. We can have our Jake on. But it's turned all the way down, right? Yep. I have it turned down. Sweet. Had to double check there. We should be fine on fuel still. Yeah, we're we still got just we're under a half tank there. No, I think we can make it all the way to Albuquerque without having to fuel up, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, hopefully it uh, you know helps you because I don't know, man. I know I, I've the, almost every struggle out there. Been there, done it. Uh, especially with money, you know. To go from uh, $9,600 a year. <laughs> uh, and, like, we don't ever... I, like, I don't ever talk about, like, how much money you make off YouTube or anything like that. A lot, a lot of people do that stuff. But money doesn't matter to me. I, I, I don't care about a number about that. As long as I'm comfortable in life, I'm happy. Um, and, uh, and that's kind of what I wanted. Because the higher amount of money you make, you know, your tax bracket changes... Every, the more money you make, everybody wants it. That's <laughs> that's how it goes. And then you got to save up money for taxes and stuff because, you know, we get 1099, so it's a little bit different. But I make way... So I went from making 9600 a year. A year for, for so long. And, that, and that's nothing, man. It's garbage money. I know. Trust me, I was poor. <laughs> uh, and now over that in a month well over that in a month it's it's insane that's why I uh, support everybody else out there that's you know that's doing it I get it man I do it's been a long road um, and growing up with nothing poor lived in my car at one point with my uh, cousin I had, had a, a Saturn uh, SL2 yeah, it was SL2, I want to say. Yeah. Lived in that for like a week, and then my mom found out about it, and then she was like, you need to come back home, which we didn't. We were like, oh, we'll go stay at our friend's house, and we stayed there. Because once, you know, once uh, everybody was done with school, we were out, out of the house. Like, you know, go go get a job, go get your own place, that kind of stuff. And, I, and I'm very happy that that happened that way. That humbles you up real fast. Makes you really appreciate things as people are slamming brakes in front of us for a truck to get on the highway. Jeez. I was just in... Yeah, he he wrecked. I was just admiring... Or going to admire the uh, truck stop there. Get back over. That woke us up. If you, were, if you were falling asleep, man. That woke us up a little bit. And now we're going to see a sunrise as we arrive in Albuquerque. This is going to be awesome. be so cool. Um, but yeah, that was the thing that, uh, humbled us up real quick. And so we went and stayed at a friend's house and then, uh, me and my cousin actually, we ended up getting a apartment together closer to where I worked, which worked out great. So now I think all parents should do that. Kick them out, man. Unless, unless, uh, you know, you're in a situation because it, it was later in life whenever, you know, the, uh, 2008, right around 2008, whenever the housing market crashed and all these other things happened, and uh, both my parents, my mom and my stepdad at the time, they both uh, were laid off of their jobs at the same time, so they had to move back. They were living in Nashville. They had moved back to St. Louis, and then I ended up rooming with them, so we were all paying, you know, three ways of rent. It was, uh, it was pretty, you know, tough times then to try to get by. But we did it. We survived. And uh, that's why I always thank everybody for everything they've done with supporting this channel and changing my life and, uh, you know, not feeling like it's out of control. And look at this. This looks so good, this sunrise. I'm really liking it. I wasn't lying. We were going to drive all the way through the night, man. I know we're getting close to our destination because we're in Albuquerque. <laughs> right at sunrise. But 
Yeah, when you feel lost, man, just uh, just keep going. Keep going. But meditation, ooh, is that something wonderful? And a lot of people, it has a stigma that, you know, it's something that uh, hippies do or these certain people do and it's weird and why would you do something like that and all this and this and this and that's not what it is at all man like I said you can't get over just in case because that truck's coming up quick coming over bud thank you very much so I figured we had to get over here usually do we'll say thank you why not we're exiting here and then going hard right so it looks like all the way to the right here on this one Turn up our Jake here. Get on there. Las Cruces. That's the one we want. Get that car going on the road. That's awesome. Slow down a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, it worked out. Beautiful. Got my motion platform throwing me over to the right here in my chair. <laughs> it's a little bit. Oh, my voice is starting to warm up a little bit more now. I get questions, or I get uh, that all the time. You talk too much. You talk too much. What are you doing talking too much? Let the truck talk. It's like, dude, you're on a uh, a commentary channel. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, gaming commentary channel. Uh, the, you want to watch people just play a game and not talk? This is not the channel for you. We talk. We talk a lot. All right, car, you can go. The BMW. That BMW. We need to do another outlaw trucker, and then we have a Florida man. I have all these things scheduled and ready. To, we're going to be doing it. But then 1.40 came out, and it changed all the plans because I had to make sure I could get this to work and then I wanted to cover the uh, the beta so you could see the difference in the lighting and all that. And I got to tell you, man, I am super, super jazzed from what we have seen. I don't need to be cruising in that the entire time. We're exiting up here anyway, so <laughs> that's all right. At Rio Bravo Boulevard. And look at how the light casts on those uh on those signs that's a big one man that's a part of this update that a lot of people this snuck its way in was that uh there's a lot of changes to the signage in america trucks them a lot more realistic now a bit more than that there we go like we have to do a little bit more than that and we can go ahead and turn our jake down to level one now a left turn towards the airport. We well, one for going to the airport. We might be going to the airport actually. Look at that! I got Albuquerque Police Department. That's the municipal uh, police pack mod. I love it. Oh man, look at the lights, the headlights, the way it shines on the side of cars, like right here. Oh yeah, that's money. That's beautiful. That's the stuff, man. All right, we made it to Albuquerque. Let's see what this drop's gonna be like. Oh, there's another one. One was their older livery. That's the newer one, I think. Or maybe I just don't know what the hell I'm talking about. You ever think of that one? Come on, light change. You don't want to, do you? All right. Well, since we're here early in the morning in Albuquerque, let's roll our windows down. Listen to the sound of this X15 engine. Using that Creech Bomb sound pack. It sounds so good. So, 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 so good. So now we're floating those gears. Yep. Can't find it, grind it. That's why I like the, uh, the sound sets that don't have the grinding sound on them. All right. Left turn here. Yeah, I think we're going to the airport. Oh, that's an it. And tono of 124 out there on the ramp. Come on, baby. Go, go, go. There you go. We made it. You know, that light, that yellow light is like, you know. And that's, an, that's something new, too, right there. You can see uh, the lights from the uh, intersections, like the red light and green lights, they cast onto the ground now. 
Sometimes a little bit too much, but I think it looks amazing. Yep, we're going to the airport cargo terminal at FedEx, it looks like. Big FedEx facility. I see we have the FedEx building, but we need a mod. I see you there, car. I'm going to make that turn there, bud. Thank you. Um, they need to make that MD-11 out there, the DC-10, actually. It's a DC-10. Uh, they need to make it have the FedEx livery on it. That would look awesome, wouldn't it? I think it would. All right. What bay are we going to? No guard check, nothing. We're just going straight on in here. And it looks like we can straight back. UPS Cargo Center. All right. Good to know. Make that corner, no problem. Flashes are on. Down this way we go. All right. Let's see how this goes. We should be able to straight back in once we find our dock here. I'm not sure there's enough room for it. It's this one right here. But we're going to try. We're going to try to straight back it. I don't know if we can, though. We might have to alley it. Ah, yeah. We're going to have to alley this. We're going to go around and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll turn around down here, actually. There's just not enough room there to do a straight. That's okay. I'm not blinding it in, that's for certain. No need for that. All right, let's try not to hit that curb there, Jeff. That would be nice. And we're not hitting any dumpsters in the, in the meantime as well. We're looking good there, not jackknifing or anything. We're hitting the little things. We're good. That looks good back there. All right. Now we know which dock we're going to, so we can pull up to it here. And we'll just uh, do a normal backing on this one. And it's the one next to the UPS truck. What Brown can do for you. I love how they parked their truck right there. That was really nice of them, wasn't it? Oh, that's going to be an interesting back, isn't it? Go to the right here. And we don't want to get too far to the right. Go to the left. That's a pretty good setup there, actually. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's look. Looking good on back. But some people ask me where my backup sound is. I have that turned off. A lot of trucks in real life have it turned off too. You don't want to be beeping all day long, driving other drivers nuts, you know? Nice and easy here. Got it going, man. Might not be enough. Yeah, we screwed it up. <laughs> screwed it up already. Let's try that one more time here. A little bit, a little bit harder, actually. There we go. A little bit harder this way. Then we'll go follow it. We'll be all right. This should be the spot right here. We're good on that side. Yep. Let it keep coming back. I'm worried about hitting that trailer there. Mm -mm. We have to turn it harder than that, man. Did not think that would be the case, but we do. We have to turn it harder. I do not want to smack that trailer. All right. So we want to turn it harder earlier. Look at that, man. Look at the reflections of the lights on the side of that trailer. That looks so good. Now we should be in a good spot here. All the way back, Jeff. Yeah, once we get in that line, we're going to be good to straighten it out. There it is right there. They keep on coming back. Oh, yeah, we're in the lines. No problem there. A mm, little bit left, but we should be okay. Or a little bit right, actually, of the spot. We're not going to hit that trailer, though. I know that. Yeah, we can fix this. No problem going that way. Yeah, see, so we have plenty of room next to that trailer. That's not a problem. So I go pull up to the left and we'll be in there. We'll be able to bump the dock. All right, cool. So we'll do the old S turn. Here we go. Left, right. Straighten it out this way. It's the best way to do it. There we are.
That heat shield's going to make this a little difficult to get it right on the line, but we're trying here. A bit more this way. There we go. It's never an easy one and done deal. Usually, I'm the king of the pull up here. Okay. Let's try to bump the dock here. Will it let us? A bit further. Almost to it. Wish we had the little lights too. The dock lights that are green and red. There we go. Beautiful. We did it. We'll take that. Not bad at all. All right. So I came back here to check on the dock and it looks like we're going to be too far to the right. We need to pull up and go left more. All right. I pulled it up to the LS turn. I know we're taking forever on this one here. So let's make sure we get it just right. Come on. Get that trailer straight and then get the truck straight. Yeah, the heat shields aren't helping our case. There we go. Bump the dock again. It still seems like we're cockeyed to the right. Maybe that'll be better. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. That looks much better this time. Yep. We actually got into the line there that time. So it, that's a tough spot there for whatever reason. I don't know why I'm having so many issues, but Hey, you know what? Sometimes there's days where I just can't back a trailer in to save my life. And I think that's one of them. All right. We got an excellent 555 miles. We drove 12 hours, 13 minutes, 76.3 or eight gallons of fuel consumed. There you go, folks. That is going to do it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Take care. Hello, everybody. It's Jeff. I uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available. If you check out the link in the description below, and uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.